it's Malfoy's you, is camera. It, wait, I thought it was a joke. Wait, what? I was trolling. Yo. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gaming. Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We are semifinals. Our gaming here. Sauce versus Josh and Gamer. Starting out with the pit. And this is a surprising pit. This is definitely is a pick out of left field that mm -hmm. I'm excited for. I love watching this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, very interesting for sure. I didn't know that Hot Sauce Fuego, Brother Zoinks, Sauce, had a pit. But, I mean, very fun, very fun these base character. You know what I mean? So, I think any, like, if you're good enough at the game, you can just kind of pick up and play pit. I mean, we saw Zachary do it. Um, I know, enough. I mean, we have, uh, I, mean, I know Xavier has um, a pocket um, pit as well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, not that, like, insane of a choice. And that pit is pretty popular nowadays. But still, the Sauce taking that first stock. That smash coming out now. Jocelyn trying to pick up the piece Yo, the here. angle? Oh, oh it didn't him matter. Lack in there. <laughs> yeah, the hardest thing about this match is definitely going to be there's a lack of a hitbox on that recovery. Yeah. So those ledge traps and edge guards are going to be coming for almost for free from Jocelyn. Yeah, Pit, like, Pit has a lot of recovery options, but all of them are, like, pretty passive, I would say. Like, with that upbeat, not having a hitbox, with Pit being a little bit on the floatier side, um, I would say, like, you're mainly just doing that down beat to land and... I mean, you're gonna see good DI, but like, it's kind of tough. Ugh. That downer sling at a devious angle from Josh, and now looking for the down air once again. Sending so bad ledge here with that gyro. I mean, that'll get. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. All right, all right. Playing, playing a little bit of wall ball there. Uh huh. Bouncing up and down, dribbling it a little bit. I see you. Yes, sir. But really good DI there from Brother Zoink. Just gonna keep it alive here. And I Poking think it's the feet there, just barely on the arbiter. That is crazy. There we go. And Pitt never learned how to read, gets that star KO. Gonna be down a, a stock in some percentage um, against Josh and Gamer. Um, but, oh, yeah, Josh is going for a lot here. He's also being a little too aggressive here, and Josh is calling out the aggressive options very well. Yeah. Has him held at the ledge once again, trying to avoid the use of those arbiters and gyro in hands once again. Trying to find that ledge trap and just Zoss playing so so often around that ledge. Honestly, he has some great tenacity to play around that too. Yeah. Oh, and oh my goodness. Hold on. All right. <laughs> we got some shenanigans going on in the background, but back to the game itself. We are seeing uh, Sauce kind of pick up the pace a little bit, but I feel like... Oh, okay. great up smash. I, I feel like the pace of the game has really been in Josh's control, and that's like the key thing I noticed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Fair point. You know, Josh is doing a very good job of holding down the neutral state, you know, using that, that gyro specifically at the ledge. We're holding Sauce there. Now finding that down tilt into forward air once yep. again. Josh is trying to accentuate the lead even more. Go back to the ledge there. Finds that grab, seeing it down throw, seeing an up smash, yep. which is an up air. Uh -huh. And one sudden saying, still wow. alive. Man, amazing DI from Sauce. God, like, yeah, we've even seen the craziest DI, bro. Josh. Oh, wow. Is it the drag down the up air? Yo, hold on. All right, you got those? This thing might be cooking, bro. I'd like to apologize. I wasn't familiar with your game. No, is... And <laughs> Sauce pit apology for Actually, him? Actually, no, he's not. <laughs> yeah, the Sauce pit apology for him. I'm filling it out right now, bro. I don't care if he doesn't win. It's still just, like, been surprisingly impressive. I think for that forward tilt there from yeah. Justin. Closing the big out that smack. game number one. That, what? Uh -huh. that game number one from that Rob. Doing a very good job of holding it down. Yeah, Justin's been playing pretty consistently today. We're not really seeing like a, 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 a like we're going further in today. We're not really seeing a drop a, a drop off from Josh. Just doing his classic things. That's why I like uh, Josh is in the zone. He yeah, really he's not going for anything too flashy. He has some nice some nice little plays. We saw that uh -huh. from earlier against Leon. But now he's just like okay, he, he's chill. Yeah, he's keep vibing. It, yeah, keeping it chill, man. But I mean, he does have this one no lead. But I mean, I heard I heard Alex in the background. We got some people cheering on Sauce, and he's gonna take off the jacket actually, which low key about damn time. But Still not going to. I'm not sure if he has some kind of gripe with the PT's Rob matchup. Maybe but. let me let me look up if they have like set history together. Cause maybe um, there's definitely a chance because you know they're in like similar regions, like you know that like South Jersey okay, Philly okay. area. So they've probably played a lot into where it's like, you know, maybe the PT hasn't worked out in this uh, matchup, this player matchup. But I mean, who knows, man? Oh, there we go. Opting for the down pull trip once again. Justin uh -huh. with that gyro in hand. Catching that jump out there with the laser. Oh. Down there comes out. And Joshin takes that very early lead against Sauce going to the next game. But now Sauce trying to hold the ledge here. Again, this pit is just like, I'm liking the ideas it has. I like the damage it has. I like the combos. But it's like the neutral isn't really like fully formed there yet. He's throwing yeah. out a lot of these hitboxes. And they're really playing very patiently right now. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and like Josh, again, sort of controlling the pace, and Sauce doesn't really have that much of an answer. You know, we start, we saw him like start off game one, like getting Josh Lee kind of overwhelmed by the pick, but now like he's just chilling. Ugh. The DI mix up as well, like, I mean, goodness gracious. Whew. Yeah, man, this one's got to be tough. Josh is now up three stocks to one. Oh, going out there with the down air, but Sonic. Oh, I love the oh. use of the gyro there. Okay. Nice reversal there from Josh to get back into this. 47% off of that edge guard reversal there, too. Yeah. Not even more. Sauce just trying to get back into this, but like you said, you know, like really struggling to find any of these hits because Josh just really isn't supplied this pit anymore. Is this going to be a three stock? I mean, it might be. I mean, we we, uh, we do have the potential for an edge guard here, and we oh. are going to see it come out. Very good stuff, and that's probably one, what you want to see more of if you're Sauce, but. If I'm being honest, like, I mean, it's such a massive lead for Jocelyn. You can still do what you can to close the gap. A comeback is always possible, but, I mean, I, mean, I, I am saying that's not looking good for Sauce, but he's also, like, hasn't been hit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. But hold up. Jocelyn finding that laser there, getting back into this. Porter coming out from the ledge. Oh, trying oh. to find a crazy ledge trap there, but not pulling... Not confirming that just yet. Dashlin oh. throwing out that dash deck on the shield there, too. Trying to avoid this up air coming up through the ledge. Trying to get back into this game. Last hit scenario for Sauce. He's got to be careful here. Josh yeah. looking for that one grab to close it out there soon. With a down air not confirming to the forward air just yet. Yeah. And I mean, again, like every time I start to doubt Sauce's pit, he always has something cooking. You know what I mean? And so I feel like that's where he can really thrive. Just like coming back from these dire situations and really just playing clean with a very fun space character like Pit. That solid down smash, down air to up smash combo. And this is suddenly going to be one stock apiece. It was looking like a three stock earlier. Mm -hmm. No, the sauce up to max rage territory. So this pit could be finding crazy gear. Justin very close to taking the stock here on the pit suit. For a down tilt, oh. grab up, up throw will most certainly yeah. close up the stock there. Now, Justin making a very quick work of this pit, going up 2 0 in the set. Yeah, I think it might be time to take it to pull out the PT again, man. Uh, here's the thing, like, I would say, like, you probably should bring out the PT just because you're down 2-0, but at the same time, like, he was really starting to make a comeback during that game, too. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like with the right adaptations, this pit is very doable. It's just that we don't know how good his PT is against um, Jonathan because the last time, um, the last time they ever played was about a year ago, well over a year ago, actually, at the String Vitational. The first oh, one. That's from, a throwback. From back in the day. That's a throwback. Y'all you, you don't know about the Sauce, Sauce won a 2 1, but ever since then, they have not played at all in mm. Racket. So we're pretty much in like completely new territory, I feel like. Because both of these players have just like really grown. I mean, obviously, as players, as people as well. And, like, I find it really funny that both times they've played, neither of them have counted for PR. <laughs> like, <laughs> dang. <laughs> but you know what? It's just a learning experience for Sauce. Yeah. I mean, pretty much. Um, but yeah, we are looking at the PT coming back, which, I mean, I think is fair enough. I mean, this is not like a, this is not a bad matchup for PT by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I do expect the pit coming out, but it's like, I mean, he's known for this PT, right? I mean, oh. he got his wins with it, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's dead. I like the call out there from Sauce, catching that uh, two grenade on the ledge, taking that early lead against Jostin. And the switch to the charge are going to keep you alive against that up air. Jostin, yeah, he knows exactly. Uh, he plays against Beast every week. Nah. He knows this. I, really, I think uh, the idea behind the pit has got to be that he plays against Beast literally every week. Yeah. He knows his matchup like the back of his rotor arm. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that, I mean, that is very true. Like, Beast, you know, one of those. Philly icons and yeah, wow, he knows this matchup like the back of his rotor golly. arm. He knows, man. <laughs> Bro, Saw is now down to his tournament stock here. Oh, yeah, this is looking not too great for Sauce. He's gonna have to look for a lot right here. Again, still doable, but oh, wow, okay. okay, all right. Hold on, and now it's on the even. I let the call out there with the Charizard now. I was literally just saying it's not looking very good. Now it's looking kind of good. Yeah, Sauce now taking the lead back in this game, using that waterfall there in the neutral state, finding that up special. Ooh. Now finding the down tilt there at the ledge, trying to keep the pressure up against Jostin. Jostin now trying to catch that jump in there too. Gyro putting that pressure out, again throwing that out. This, that, this oh, the world parry? keeping the pressure up there too. Oh, yeah. And now it is Ivysaur's chance. We know how threatening that Ivysaur can be. Sauce has really shown his capabilities with this character, but we are going to have to see. 
We're gonna have to see him survive first. Uh, Joshin also gotta be careful because this is the last stock scenario. Dysaur could just take out the stock very soon. Yeah. Players gotta be careful here. Ryan hopped in again with these gyros, getting the pressure up on the platforms once again. Looking for those razor leaves there too. Gotta be so careful. So keep the Charizard. Yeah, don't get hit by that down there. More weight there coming out there too. Laser is gonna be coming online. Throw from the ledge. Catching that jump in there with the Nair. Both these players playing fantastic right yeah. now. Yeah. No, this is very patient gameplay. Both. These players just respecting each other's space, and we're finally going to see some signs of life from Sauce here. And goodness gracious, this is so close. Literally anyone's game. One hit, and they get destroyed. Yeah, yeah. one hit, and that most certainly is going to do it. Crowd going crazy. Mm -hmm. Every single in the person claims that they are Sauce. Taking that game, number three, now making the set count 2-1. You know, regardless of how often you play against Beast, you know, like, you still got to realize that. He's not Sauce. Charizard. Exactly. He's not, <laughs> Beast is not Sauce. <laughs> Two definitely very uh, uh, You were saying earlier with Tree Stain and Sauce, Pokemon right? Line. That every Pokemon trainer player plays very, very differently. Yeah, that's what Beast I'm saying, bro. Being a Charizard centralized player and Sauce in this tournament specifically being a very Ivysaur centralized player. Yeah. You don't see very often like, as with Beast. Yeah, no, we saw just how much work the Ivysaur was putting in, especially at the end of that game three where we saw just like, he's just so good with the neutral. He knows the ins and outs of this character, but this squirrel right now, kind of putting in work. Oh yeah, finding more damage to squirrel, trying to find the tech kit there on the platform. They're online, oh. no tech there. Josh can find oh, that's big, big damage. damage with that laser. Yep, there yeah, we go. Yeah, the point blank, that's gonna do a lot of damage. But uh, this squirrel, I mean, not looking too bad either. We were kind of seeing this, we we're, were seeing the, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness hey. gracious. <laughs> What I'm saying is that we were kind of seeing the Squirtle struggle a little bit during the set versus Tree Stain and Pharaoh, but I think against a big buy like uh, Rob, there is potential for the Squirtle to work out a bit better, but who needs that when the Ivysaur is putting in work as oh, well, but he no. just has to get zero. Okay. Unfortunate. Sauce with unfortunate Oof. SD. Now down three stocks to one yeah. of those Joshin. Going for a crazy F smash that there. Happens. Joshin oh looking to goodness. close it up. Oh, he, what is going he messed on? up the Z, the, uh, <laughs> Z catch there. Yeah. Did not mean the air dodge there, definitely. Now, oh, okay. yeah, getting called. getting a little right. too aggressive. Sauce now making his stock count two to one. Again, this is still doable. Like, we saw a pretty big deficit in that last game. We saw Sauce come back from it, but like, as being at zero is kind of tough. Um, you just gotta just shake it off and keep it pushing. I was talking to Sauce um, earlier today, and he said that he's in a really good like mentality state going into this tournament. So I feel like that's been kind of helpful towards him making these comebacks and like staying in these games, even if he makes those kind of blunders. Yeah, so thank you. Like like you said, you no matter what the state of the game is, you can always win it, right? So if you're just able to keep on keep your head on your shoulders, you must certainly find the comeback you need. But of course, Joshin being up so much right now is one confirmed away from taking that game and sending Sauce out of this tournament at fourth place, trying to find a way out of the shield here too. Sauce looking for the ledge trap of that yeah. gyro, absolutely putting a stop to that right there. Oh, trying to get a big forward smash read like he got in those last few sets, but right now it is looking again. He's just one hit away from sealing this 3-1. And that's gonna be the hit. There good, we go. Good stuff from Joshathan. <laughs> some people in the back. We're seeing some angst in the crowd. Yeah. Alex. <laughs> Alex in shambles right now. <laughs> Off of that, uh, that loss. But yeah, Joshathan going to take it 3-1. Sauce going to have a pretty solid showing. Really just amazing run. But we are going to be seeing Joshathan in the top three. Losers finals. Playing against Pharaoh. And yeah, let's look at some of these replays here. Uh, we saw the pit during the first two games. The pit was honestly not that bad. Both games were last stock. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it was far from a poor showing. Like, it's clear that he's got the fundies. You know? Oh, and, definitely. And yeah, like, it was a... But again, like, Josh has just been playing very... Uh, I, <laughs> I called him Josh as if that's his real name. <laughs> <laughs> where he's just keeping it solid. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And we're going to be seeing him. Oh, that was a nice back here. <laughs> yeah, very oh. solid game. Solid set from Joshin making 3-1. Now we have Joshin and Farrah. Well, these two have honestly played a lot as of lately. That's true, yeah. I was going to say. They went from not playing much to playing like almost every week. Yeah, Ended I was going to say, like, bro, Bears I've seen on the, Friday. I've seen this before, bro. And I'm not sure what their record is. 
necessarily. We, you know what? We could check that. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we could take we, a look. All I know is that Pharaoh and usually ends up taking the wins in the set. I mean, this is some deep yeah. Jostin lore, but Jostin, the last Arcadian who was ever allowed to enter at, after he got ranked the next season, was he got second at the Arcadian to Pharaoh.